Hi, I'm Mark Stieber, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. College is costly. Trust me, I know because I have three kids in college right now. Even if you think you have enough money, saved, or otherwise have scholarships, it's still a big financial commitment. Today, I'm here to answer some of the most common questions I get about tax breaks for college expenses. What kind of tax breaks are available for college costs or education costs that can also benefit my tax return? Well, the two most popular tax benefits are the American Opportunity Tax Credit and the Lifetime Learning Tax Credit for those who qualify. The American Opportunity Credit provides eligible taxpayers up to $2,500 for full-time students during the first four years of undergraduate college. The Lifetime Learning, on the other hand, provides eligible taxpayers up to $2,000 per year for all other courses that typically don't qualify for the American Opportunity Tax Credit. Furthermore, you can put money in an investment account specifically designed for college costs. This account will grow tax-free and later be withdrawn tax-free if it's spent on eligible education expenses. It is also a very good idea to look at grants and scholarships and education savings bonds and other benefits for college savings and investments that will help each taxpayer uniquely. What are the most important things to consider when planning to pay for a higher education? Well, first, as a parent of three in college and as someone who paid for college themselves, I can tell you for sure, start saving early. Check out the IRS publication 970, known as Tax Benefits for Education. It's a handy 90-page document to help you understand college expenses and the related tax benefits. Or you can schedule time with a tax pro to provide you with personalized insights. Some tax benefits and savings kick in when you actually pay the money, and some provide benefits years in advance through savings and tax-free earnings. Some require application for grants and scholarships and loans and forgiveness programs. And my advice, start planning early and find out as many money savings opportunities as you can. But as important as saving, start learning the rules and options. There's a lot to know and many choices to make, but the payoff for tax breaks can really help pay for college and lower your taxes. What else do I need to know about tax benefits and higher education? While there are many tax breaks and credits, a word of caution. It's important to know that there's no double dipping. You will not have a deduction and a tax credit for the same expense. And this is also important. There are some limits and restrictions, some based on how much you earn and some based on whether the taxpayer or the student paid the expenses. But don't worry, there are some great lesser known rules too. If some college expenses are paid by a relative, like a grandparent or an aunt, the college student or taxpayer can use those expenses on their tax return, even if they didn't pay directly and the relative did. Plus, you get to pick the tax benefit that gives you the biggest overall best results. Learn about all the tax benefits from college expenses and schedule an appointment today with a trusted tax pro. Visit jacksonhewitt.com.